If you were to tell me that this was neurofibromatosis, you'd be absolutely right. But for your medical exams, you need to know the difference between type 1 and type 2 neurofibromatosis. So I'll beat you to the answer by telling me in the comments below right now. Both types are caused by genetic mutations which result in tumours forming around the nerve sheaths. So that's right, all these lumps and bumps you're seeing are tumours of the nerve sheaths themselves. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Master your OSCEs and vivas by remembering more clinical signs and perfect your examination technique. Comment OSCE for some free pages. Type 1 is known as von Recklinghausen disease. It tends to start in early childhood and can vary considerably in severity. There are other clinical signs that you need to know for this. These are cafe au lait spots, meaning coffee with milk. Greater than six of these are considered abnormal. Another feature is axillary skin freckling. This freckling can even affect the back of the eye and the retina, called leash nodules. Whereas type 2 tends to happen later in adolescence. Just remember one comes before two. These patients do not typically have neurofibromas like this. What you need to remember is that we have two ears. Type 2 is classically associated with bilateral vestibular schwannomas, of sheath tumors in both ears which affect the cranial nerve number 8, the vestibular cochlear nerve. Masses there may mess up your balance and your hearing. I've got another patient for you, but you're going to have to follow me to come and see them next.